I'm Colleen Kroniger from the Department of Nutrition, and today I'm going to focus on a step in the glycolytic pathway that is confusing for most students, and that's the regulation of PFK2. During the fed state, you have, that we're focusing on the liver right now, uh, glucose from the blood enters into the hepatocyte through the transporter GLUT2. Glucose is phosphorylated by glucokinase, requires ATP, and now glucose 6-phosphate is trapped in the cell. It'll be converted to fructose 6-phosphate, and it can either go to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate through PFK1, or it can be converted to fructose 2,6-bisphosphate by PFK2. In the fed state, you want glycolysis to proceed forward. This metabolite is, a, is made, and it's a positive regulator of PFK1. In order for PFK1 to uh, continue, you need to have that fructose 2,6-bisphosphate. However, what's confusing about this point is that it's a bifunctional enzyme. That means it can either act as a kinase, like it is right now in the fed state, or it can act as a phosphatase. So I'm going to draw in here what happens during fasting. First of all, during fasting, you need to have uh, the liver make glucose, not use glucose. So therefore, everything I've drawn in blue, you want to sort of inhibit. The step right here, the PFK2 step, it's going to act as a phosphatase in the fasted step. Doing so will decrease the amount of fructose 2,6-bisphosphate, which will inhibit PFK1, and thus inhibit the glycolytic pathway. What I've got drawn right here is just PFK2. As I said, it's a bifunctional enzyme. It has a kinase domain, and it has a phosphatase domain. Whatever domain is phosphorylated is inhibited. During fasting, you have an increase of glucagon, an increase of cyclic AMP, and an increase of PKA. PKA will phosphorylate the serine residue of the kinase domain. When it does that, it will inhibit the kinase domain. So during fasting, it's going to act as a phosphatase. In the muscle, you have a slightly different regulation. The muscle does not respond to fasting. It does not have a glucagon receptor. It responds to exercise. And in exercise, calcium is produced and AMP is, in, is increased. So the way I remember it is if you have glucose, you want glucose to go down the glycolytic pathway to pyruvate. You need to make energy, get into the TCA cycle. So you want the kinase to act. Uh, the AMP, as it increases, will increase AMP kinase. AMP kinase will phosphorylate the phosphatase domain, making it act as a kinase. So now in the muscle, fructose 6-phosphate is generating fructose 2,6-bisphosphate. And that's a positive regulator of PFK1. This promotes glycolysis in the muscle, where the phosphorylation in the liver inhibits glycolysis, letting the glucose be released to the rest of the body.